Um, ASTC, this is an important acronym. Again, it's a bit of a hack, but it's a helpful hack, so that's why I'm going to teach it to you. Um, the way people remember it is they call it all stations to central. Okay? There, are, there are a few other ways to remember the letters in order, like it's like you know, never eat song, you weebix, that kind of thing. But <laughs> most of the other acronyms are not as polite. So I'm going to stay with all stations to central. Okay? The reason it's useful is if you draw yourself a set of axes like this, okay? And um, if we, I could put the unit circle on here, I don't need to for now. If I write these letters in order, going from first to second, third, and fourth quadrants, okay? What this indicates is, for a particular angle, which of the trig ratios, right? All of them, just sine, just tan, or just cos, which of them are positive, okay? So let me show you how this works with these examples I just did, okay? We did cos x equals a half. Okay, cos x equals a half. And it's from Norton 360. So I'm gonna use this technique instead of this one, right? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go for my calculator and it'll tell me 60 degrees is the first angle, okay? So when I do cos inverse of a half, this process is still the same, okay? I get 60 degrees. Now, to get the second solution, right? Instead of appealing to a graph, I appeal to this guy, right? All stations to central, that's um, all are positive in this quadrant, sine is positive in this quadrant, tan is positive in this quadrant, and cos is positive in this quadrant, okay? So you can see I have a positive value here, right? I've already got my first quadrant angle from 0 to 90. There he is right there. The calculator will always hand that one to you, okay? But to get my second solution, I look for where else is cos positive? And you can see it's in the one, two, three, fourth quadrant. Do you see that? Okay. So in this quadrant over here, here's how I get these answers. I go 360, take away whatever that first angle was, okay? In this third quadrant, I'll do 180 plus whatever that angle is. And in the second quadrant, I'll do 180, take away whatever that angle was, okay? So using this scheme, you can see, all right, well, if my first angle was 60, my second one will be 360, take away 60, which is 300, which is just what we got before, okay? So that was the first one. How about, how about this one over here? 10 theta equals one. Okay, reach for your calculator. It's positive, so your calculator hands you the first answer, which is 45 degrees. Then you're searching for your second answer. Look at your quadrants, right? One, two, three, four. In which other quadrant is tan positive? Yeah. And the answer is the third quadrant, right? There it is. Tan's positive over here, okay? If I were to put in an angle between 90 and 180, tan will give me a negative, right? You can see, there he is. He's a negative, okay? So what I want is the third quadrant, which is 180 plus whatever my angle was, which is 225 the same answer that I got before, okay? Now, as you can see, this is dramatically quicker, right? No graphing required, okay? So that's kind of like a really attractive thing about this process, okay? But this is my caution, right? There's two problems with doing that. Number one, you must master graphing. There's no way to get around graphing. If you want to go and do two unit, you're going to be graphing till the cows come home. So there's no point trying to like put off graphing. You're going to have to get your head around that skill anyway. And if you want to rely on this, because you can say, oh, I don't have to graph, you're just putting off the inevitable. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, like, why is it this one, second or third or fourth quadrant? It's kind of black magic, right? It's like, why does it give me the right answer? Be because all stations to central, right? That's not the real reason why. <laughs> the real reason is because of these graphs. That's just kind of a helpful way of knowing, okay? So this is quicker. It's like 10 times quicker, okay? But it doesn't give you the understanding that you'll need to progress further, okay? 